Arch bringing us a Coin Ops Next 2 based light gun only image. And man, this one's pretty cool. Uh, here we go, gangster mode. Using the Sindin light gun for the majority of this video, but it'll work on a dolphin bar, an aim track light gun, or even a mouse or analog sticks. Shout out to today's sponsor, who I'm going to be using their height adjustable dual motor desk with an LED for memory spots, standing or sitting desk. It's rubber grommets. The construction is amazing. Look how quiet it is. You can barely hear it underneath my voice. But um, I was able to raise the gun and play shooters all at the same time while my baby was sleeping. Um, but it's a cool little desk I'll be using around the house. Um, I'm My wife wants it now, but anyways, long story short, they make cool stuff. I'll put links for that in the description if you're interested. Uh, good construction, easy to make, and you know, I really like that I was able to move my monitor <laughs> high enough to play these shooters. So this is actual gameplay of the image we'll be checking out in this video. So without further ado, let's get into uh, setting it all up and then we'll uh, see what's on here. So when you download the file, you're gonna wanna extract it and then there's gonna be a file folder called update files. You wanna install all these update files. There's four of them. Uh, you don't have to, this is only for some of the games, but I'd recommend installing them. You also wanna disable your antivirus or your Windows firewall as that often throws off some issues as well. And then here you have a, a dot, I think it's DAT file that you uh, just uh, put into your C drive by itself. And that's some of the config files. The next thing I did was you make sure you get the send and light gun drivers or have your, you know, whatever light gun you're going to be using. Make sure it's set up for your computer. It's all on. And then uh, you literally just have to launch and then turn it on if it's a send and light gun. And then all you have to do at that point is launch coin ops. And this image does come with the base image installed. So you do not need to download coin ops in addition. You just need this image that can be found on arcade punks or backups.me gun collection for coin ops next two again this is a standalone cabinet or, you know build that you don't even need a base image it's all here for you we got alien 3 the gun game this is a main game then we got aliens extermination for techno parrot if you look in the bottom center of your screen you can see that that's a techno parrot emulator it's a parrot on fire the arcade shooting gallery this is either mame or we i forget Area 51, we got the main version, we got the Sega Saturn version, and we have the PlayStation version. Maximum Force, we got the main version. It's gonna be your arcade version. Attack of the Movies 3D, I believe is Nintendo Wii, it might be MAME. Bang, it's a MAME game. Trick Shooting, it's a Nintendo game. Beast Busters, it's a MAME game, arcade game. Beast Busters, Second Nightmare, also a MAME game. Behind Enemy Lines, nice little Shooter here with the uh, cross here. Born to fight, MAME. Cycle shooting, MAME. Big Game Hunter for PlayStation. There's gonna be a bunch of these games, especially for Wii as well. Now Carnival, it it doesn't quite, it's not quite set up properly with the Sin and Light Gun in my opinion, but it does run. Keep that in mind though, you're probably not gonna be happy with the way it's set up. Uh, Cayenne, Chicken Blaster. Chicken Riot. I'm guessing the more animated Chiller's NES. Yeah, see, it's interesting that not all of them are. This Clay Pigeon's NES, I believe. Not all of them are labeled for the correct system. Kokoto Magic Circus. Confidential Mission. Dreamcast. This one looks good. Nice graphics there. Crack Shot. Crossbow. Crypt Killer. Crypt Killer, Dead Space Extraction, Death Crimson DOX, Desert Gun, Dino Strike, Toy Story Mania. That one looks fun. Look at these little arc. I always like when there's like a twist on the arcade games like this. It's not just constantly shooting. Uh, Dragon Gun, that's a pretty typical one. Gun Gun Hunt for NES, the, the original OG. Egg Egg Venture, super hard game, super hard game. So you got Extreme Hunting 1, 2, <clears throat> uh, both for Thomas Wave. Now Far Cry Paradise Lost, make sure you install your drivers for this, but amazing, amazing, amazing game. Really fun, really cool for Techno Parrot. Techno Parrot does require a little bit more getting used to setting up your computer. It's gonna set up your antivirus, set off your antivirus, set your golden gun. Go Squad, this is a Nintendo Wii game. Uh, oh, Bakyon. I don't think I've ever played this one before. Then we have Golbib. 
I totally pronounced that wrong. I know. <laughs> Golly Ghost. Gotcha the Sport. Great Guns. Gunblade, the arcade games. This looks like a... Um, this look that looks like a um a uh, Techno Parrot game. You know, Gunblade, I believe this one's uh for Dreamcast. Oh, it's Sega Model 2, okay. That's what I thought. But there's also one for um there's a main game. Gunslingers. Hit and miss. Hogan's Alley. You got all your House of the Dead for Sega Model 2, Naomi, Dreamcast, and Sega Saturn. Invasion. Judge Dredd. Jurassic Park. And yes, there's Jurassic Park, The Lost World on here as well. We're going to get to that in a second. You got the Lethal Enforcers 1, and then you got the dual game for PlayStation 1 and 2. Then you have the Lethal Enforcers 2, the old old school, you know, um, gunslinger game. Lethal Justice. So this game is really cool. It's a lot like the Far Cry game. And again, it's a techno parrot game, but really cool. Kind of adds a little bit more mystery. Link's Crossbow Training. This is going to be your uh, Nintendo Wii. Lord of Gun. Lost World, this is your Mo Sega Model 3. Lucky and Wild, so this is a gun game while you're driving. A lot harder to set up your controls properly for this game, especially if you don't have, like, a wheel. Martian Panic. Machin's Attack. Mechanized Attack. Final Shooting. Mobile Suite Gundam. NY Captor. Nerf and Strike. I believe that's uh, this Nintendo Wii. We got the Ocean Hunter. Operation Ghost, this is a Techno Parrot. One shot, one kill. Got all your Operation Wolves and Thunderbolt. Got your Point Blank, one, two, and three. Police Trainer. Police Knots. Project Horn Owl. Rail Chase, one and two. Rambo. Ranger Mission. Reload. And then all these Remington games. Oh, as we scroll down here. Go back to all, get in here. As you scroll down here, these are all for the Nintendo Wii. Resident Evil, the Dark Side Chronicles. Resident Evil, the Umbrella Chronicles. Then you got X Revolution. Dream Raider, super fun game. A lot of little mini games here. Really cool graphics. Sega Clay Challenge, Thomas Wade, Sharpshooter, Shooting Rain. All right, then we got Silent Scope for the Dreamcast. Silent Hill for Techno Parrot. Cool zombie games. Lots of zombie games on here that are really fun. Everything from like, you know, 8, 16 bit, and then up. Oh clicked out of there really quick sports shooting usa star wars trilogy star trek voyager the arcade game techno parrot so probably one of the bigger techno parrot uh, gun games gun shooters is really cool steel gunner one and two terminator two judgment day mame the house of the dead overkill um this is actually the wii version although there's a pc version of this game as well i prefer the pc version myself especially if you're playing on a pc but that's just me Time Crisis for PlayStation, not the main game. Time Crisis Project Titan for PlayStation. To the Earth, Nintendo. Never played this one. Top Shot Arcade. Transformers Human Alliance for Techno Parrot. Really fun game. A lot of people like this game a lot. Tut's Tomb. The Typing of the Dead, if you want to type. I don't know why this is on here, but it's fun, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure the Typing of the Dead, though, also does come... Is it... Is it that or one of these games like the overload overload one of them comes with uh shooting the shooting of the dead the house of the dead as well there's typing and then shooting um but i forget which one it is under fire virtual cop virtual cop for second model 2 and then sega saturn and then virtual cop 2 for three different systems sega model 2 dreamcast and sega saturn then we got wild pilot wild west shootout wild shooting champion 0 0.1 and 2 and then finishing it out rounding it off with zombie raid for mame a really really cool game so it's got it's got them all it's this is a quite a collection of games i can't see one missing let me know if you see one that's missing so now let's go ahead and try out some games all right so there you have it one of the most comprehensive collections of light gun games i've seen and i love it that it's on the pc so you can play techno parrot and some of these harder to emulate systems depending on you know your hardware of course now my laptop's plenty strong for all this but um yeah a lot of these games run really great everything ran well except carnival and then i think some of you are going to have some issues with techno parrot oh, just because like it sets off a lot there. of um 
like warning signs like there's a lot of .exe files and Windows doesn't like that and then also um, it, there's a lot of like different paths and things that need to get all rooted correctly and it might not be so plug and play for you Time but as far as the main games the Nintendo Wii games running Dolphin all that stuff's fairly simple and you can check out my other videos I've done videos and all that if you ever do kind of run into something but as far as getting an image that a looks great two is preset up or B and then C uh, you know it's uh got a gr one of the best collections of gun games I've seen in a while, you know, all in all, it's pretty impressive. So um, that's what I think. Let me know if you have any questions, but uh, fairly straightforward and a great light gun uh, choice uh, for all your favorite games.